Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog episode of Marvin Says. And uh, for today's episode, I'm going to give you my uh, top 3 favorite basketball signature shoes. Okay? Uh, my first pick, okay, is actually the LeBron 14. Adimat. Alright. So, uh, this is the uh, colorway. Okay. Uh, Lebron 14's Agimat Limited Edition comes in this color. It's blue. Okay. And it's uh, Agimat because uh, this is Lebron James uh, tribute to the uh, Pinoy Ballers. Okay. As you all know, uh, at the time, 2017, Gilas Pilipinas, okay, was uh, actually into the uh, qualifiers for uh, the FIBA World Cup. Alright, and uh, Nike uh, and LeBron, you know, made uh, this shoe specifically for our uh, Filipino players, Filipino uh, Gilas players. So, these were uh, worn by the Gilas Filipinas uh, players at the time. Their uh, resident import uh, was Andre Blanche. Okay? Now, if you ask me how much uh, did I got this way back in 2017, uh, this was purchased from uh, I think it was Titan 22 okay by uh, a friend slash acquaintance uh, Yoni Razon okay through Yoni he was able to you know reserve me this one because due to its uh, uh, limited release you know, not all can get uh, this shoe uh, from Titan or from Nike Park stores. So I was privileged enough to own one, and I rarely, you know, wear this shoe just because it's again limited. All right, uh, this cost at around uh, eight thousand uh, eight hundred uh, pesos in uh, 2017 and uh, this was given to me by my wife as a gift because again I was cheering for Gilas Filipinas players and uh, I love basketball so um, Maureen, you know got this pair for me okay so it's Lebron 14 Agimat this is the shoe Alright, and this is my number one pick. Okay? Now, my number two favorite basketball shoe is Paul George. Alright? And uh, this is his first signature shoe. It's PG1 prototype. Okay? As you all know, it's black. Uh, it's a prototype. Okay? So, just before there were... Uh, I think that when Nike was uh, deciding what color ways uh, they will produce, this is the mock-up. So it's black. That's uh, why it was called PG1 prototype. And this is also a limited release. Okay. Uh, this was released in 2017. Okay, as you all know, Paul George uh, was injured way back in 2014, uh, which caused his. Uh, career and uh, was able to bounce back and play again uh, uh, in the NBA and upon his return to NBA after that you know leg injury or not leg injury but I think it was his his his, his foot alright uh, Nike decided to you know give him a uh, signature shoe and this is the first shoe that uh, Nike made for uh, Paul George under his name uh, 
PG ones prototype. Okay. Uh, again, this was uh, uh, brought. No, sorry. Uh, bought by uh, by Yoni uh, from Titan 22, and at the time 2017, uh, it cost about 5,600 pesos or 5,700 pesos. Okay, on a limited run. Okay, so right now the PGs are on their uh, third release or fourth release. I think it's PG3 or PG4. Uh, uh, I haven't, you know, bought any uh, Paul George, the most recent Paul George, uh, as I'm into the the first release of, you know, uh, the NBA players that. Uh, I idolized and uh, again this is my number two pick uh, uh, it cost 5,600 way back 2017 I got this from Yoni of course and uh, he got this from Titan 22 all right uh, this was given to me by my wife as uh, a birthday gift and I like the shoe all right so uh, the shoes that I that I I, I, I am uh, showing you are the shoes that I you know rarely wear. Okay, uh, it's because I, I just want to preserve them. You know, so this is PG one prototype, and this is my number two favorite signature shoe, basketball shoe. Okay, my. Number three and uh, the last but not the least, okay. And I think this is the most expensive uh, pair of shoes that I that I uh, purchased. And uh, this one is the Kobe AD Next, all right. So this was uh, I think the latest release, 2019, 2020, released by Nike. And I got this. Uh, from Titan 22 okay online okay I got this from their uh, web store Titan 22 okay so what makes this special is because this basically as you all know Kobe died okay this year from a tragic accident and uh, I have to get a pair okay just to have you know uh, commemorate uh, Kobe Bryant the late Kobe Bryant okay and uh, what makes this shoe special is that it has technology into it okay uh, as you can see this shoe doesn't have any laces or it does have a lace but it's well hidden all right and the tech uh, inside this shoe is that you push this and it makes this one these are rubbery material if you push this automatically the, the, the shoe will uh, tighten okay so no laces push this and uh, automatically the shoe will uh, tighten up and if you want to remove the shoe okay just this one okay you just again push this and it uh, will loosen up Right. This is the technology uh, of this shoe, and this costs nine thousand nine hundred, close to ten thousand pesos. Okay, the colorway is a uh, blue hero. Okay, uh, from Titan Twenty Two. Okay, I got this just this year after uh, two days of Kobe's uh, passing. I just have to get this shoe. Okay, this is an accidental purchase, but basically. You know who else doesn't love Kobe, right? So these are my top three Nike basketball signature shoes. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, I don't have uh, a lot of shoes, but compared to uh, the sneakerheads from uh, the uh, other YouTube, you know, vloggers like. Uh, Carlo Ople and uh, Julius Babao. 
Alright, but basically getting into shoe collection uh, will cost you as much as you know complete uh, uh, collecting toys. So I have so many collections uh, and for uh, the sneakers or the shoes I am more picky uh, although I still have to buy me a pair of uh, Jordans okay so I don't have any you know Jordans yet uh, that's what I'm actually eyeing for okay just you know one Jordan uh, just to uh, actually have you know shoes of the greatest NBA players okay so this ends the video for now okay thank you so much uh, for your support if you are new to the channel and if you like this video share and subscribe to Marvin Says till next time guys and do not touch your face bye